Good day once again. Today we are going to discuss about ECR. How can we implement this one in the circuit? How to make a triggering circuit that would drive the gate of this ECR? ECR is norm normally composed of stack uh, transistor. So it is composed of PNP and NPN transistor. So this is the PNP transistor and this is the NPN transistor so now this is the gate of the ACR this is the anode and this is your cathode so how this one works is that if you have a gate signal here, a positive voltage, this NPN transistor will start to conduct from the collector down to the emitter. So if this one conducts, this one also will conduct. Your PNP transistor will conduct. So if you have a positive voltage here, your positive voltage here, it will start to flow down here, down here and down to your load either this could be AC or DC and at the same time also this PNP transistor will conduct here and at the same time also will conduct through the collector no, this is now this is PNP. This is PNP. It will conduct going through the collector also and at the same time supplying the gate of this PNP transistor. So even though if we don't have a gate signal here or even though if we have only a pulse signal here uh, during the positive uh, pulse, this one will conduct. This PNC, PNP also will conduct here, here, and supplying the gate of your ECR. So even if there is no uh, gate pulses uh, during that time, but you have a positive voltage going through here, your ECR will still be conducting continuously. So in the event of AC supply voltage for example a 220 because we will be using 220 here this is your 220, 220 waveform and then you have here your gating pulses so for example if you have gated it here you have a pulse here so at the same time also you have your ACR this is your ACR output. Your ACR output will conduct during this cycle of the waveform. And at the zero uh, voltage, your ACR will become off because your gate signal will... You don't have any more gate sig uh, supply to the gate from your uh, uh, 220 volts. So at this moment, your ECR will not conduct. So you will wait again for the next pulse that would be supplied to your gate in order for this, for your ECR to conduct in AC uh, supply voltage. So for example, you are going to pulse it here more earlier. So you are, you make your ECR contact earlier so at this moment the power delivered to your load also is uh, adjusted so this is now 50% of the power that you are going to deliver to your load because you trigger it much earlier now at this moment also the ECR will not conduct because your gate is not supplied with the positive voltage so 
in the next uh, pass you are going to gate this one much earlier so at this side at this area you are making your ECR conduct so when you uh, when you supply the gate much earlier you have a bigger power delivered to your load at the same time so for example in the next here your ECL become off and in the next also you are going to give an early pulse or gate signal so you are getting or making your ECR conduct earlier so you are supplying 100% of the power to your load that's why this ECR is very important in the industry uh, this is one of the most this is the most common uh, as power semiconductor that are used in the industry to control uh, heaters industrial heaters uh, transformers any big loads because this one could vary its um, capacity up to thousands of amperes so that is the basic of this here so in the next uh, video we are going to uh, show i'm going to show you uh, the triggering circuit how to make the trigger of this ecr uh, because uh, this very very important uh, device uh, semiconductor in the industry and also difficult to uh, to trigger okay